In this video, we're going to take an existing trending design and we're going to create a unique take on it so that we can add some value to the marketplace. So let's slide on over to Etsy and get started. Okay, so here we are in Etsy and all I did was I typed in trendy Halloween shirt. Research does not have to be hard because anything that shows up on the front page is worth so much more than anything that shows up even further down the first page, but the second page is basically irrelevant for our purposes. We got popular now, bestseller, popular now, popular now. This one looks very interesting to me. And if I scroll down, you can actually see it. So let's click into here. Okay, here we are. This is a very new listing and it says in 20 plus carts. And that is an extremely strong sign for us. We've got eight favorites. This is a brand new listing. So Everbee doesn't quite have any useful data quite yet. It really takes a few months, but we could see that we've got eight favorites and it's in 20 plus carts. And it is a very unique design style. I haven't seen anything like it before. So maybe we could take this and we will see what AI says in terms of how we could potentially lateral this into our own trending best-selling design style. So let's go ahead and capture this image and we will go ahead and we'll hop into ChatGPT here and we're going to ask ChatGPT to describe the prompt for us. Okay, so all we did was we provided the image and we asked for it to create a prompt for the ghost part of the image isolated on a white background. Okay, this thing is getting a little bit too wild. So let's go ahead and ask for it to make it more natural language. So let's have it remove the references to print. And just for validation, let's go ahead and run this over here in Mystic POD. And for our purposes, since we're already working with a solid prompt, we're going to turn off Mystic Prompt. Uh, this is useful for different types of things if you're trying to find your way to a design. But since we already know what we're trying to do here, let's go ahead and give it an opportunity to create this design. There we go. We've got some similar-ish takes. I like this one the best, um, but we're obviously, we're not going to just rip off exactly what the other person did here. That's not really adding value to the marketplace. And you're going to be competing with an established listing, and that's not usually a good play. You're fighting for the scraps with all of the people who are just trying to copy. So how can we differentiate our own designs? So for this particular design, the thing that differentiates it is using the denim fabric. So what else do we have that are potential trending designs that would be similar but not using denim? So in ChatGPT, we just asked instead of denim, what other fabrics would make good variations on this concept. So let's see what ChatGPT has to say. Okay, so we've got corduroy, chambray, whatever that is, gingham cotton, brushed flannel, I know what that is, uh, velveteen, I understand what that is, there's lace, tweed, cotton calico. So some of these make sense to me. Let's try corduroy, flannel, and what about canvas? since I know what that fabric is. Another thing that I think makes sense is to make ChatGPT check itself to ask for it to do something more trendy like existing fashion trends and to look it up. Okay, so it went and it did all of this for us. We have some inclusions now of more trendy versions of what we had already had. So let's go ahead and let's use these much more trendy versions. So just for demonstration purposes, I'm going to crank it and we're going to use five credits each time so that we can see what happens. Okay, and there we go. We have five of these. These are feeling a little bit too three-dimensional. So I'm going to take what looks like the best one and we are going to ask for it to make it flatter. So we will see what that does for us. But if you look here, we have some pretty reasonable results. We've got these little pockets here and this worked well and this one and this one worked well as well. And I like this one the best. And we can go ahead and hit remove background and there we go. Fully isolated on a transparent background and then we can go ahead and upscale it. I like this one too. So again, we can remove background and upscale and neither of these cost any credits. Upscale. Okay, so flattening it 
that way didn't work. So let's revert that. So what we're going to do is we're going to tell it to reduce the textured appearance, but maintain the fabric patterns. And we'll see how that goes. So while this got better, it's still feeling very three-dimensional. And I would just say that this is probably not the highest value option anyway. So we could go ahead and forget that. And part of being efficient when you are creating designs is knowing when to give up and just move on to the next potential winning design. So with Mystic, you get 10 free credits a week and you can do essentially 10 image generations and you can do a free background removal and a free upscaling. So it's worth checking it out and playing around with it. Now, if you want another free option, you could check out Google AI Studio. I used it to do trending Etsy designs. So if you're interested in learning how to use that and watch me scale laterally, then check out this video over here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in that video.